Hello and welcome to Airport Seo here on a raw slow gaming and a new era. We are entering the beta age of this game. So we're going to take you through it, how to play the game or rather show you a let's play on how I play the game. Uh, we are starting on the moderate uh, difficulty, which means to two millions in cash the uh, emergencies are rare but they do happen something that we didn't manage to play along with decently in uh, the alpha state as they updated the day updated the game and brought that in and that basically meant that you had to have some capacity over to be able to handle that which we definitely didn't have so we're starting a fresh year and i will let you follow along i hope you enjoy your time here so without further ado let's get into the game and build our airport then so one of the first things we need is of course a atc tower and an actual uh, runway so let's get those things in Multiple terminals is supported and everything like that that we have sort of shown in the earlier series that we've done or seasons and episodes. Uh, so we will start small and we will start very much uh, too close to um, the building thing here. And um, that is also something you can do here in the beta or rather they have changed the development menu here that you get if you press f10 so it's much smaller which is nice but uh, uh, deselecting uh, construction of material or construction that means that you're not getting any achievements on steam so you might want to keep that on also you have a sandbox mode that i will not go into but there you can choose to not have emergencies going on and I know animals and unlimited cash and all and those sort of things. But we want to play the game as it's meant to be played. So let's do that. And I said we need to get in some basic things first. And this is also actually sort of new. Oh, I understand this is uh, small arrows. That means that you have a sub menu here. And yeah, they, they are going to polish the game throughout the beta i just read the beta update or actually blog update uh, that they had just before entering the game here so it's, it's hopefully going to be all right or it's going to be pretty fun uh, i think there's an error here already actually the operating cost here on grass is higher than for asphalt that might be true though as grass could be more uh, expensive to to main, maintain really and so what way are we going to have this runway i really should also leave space here more than i'm doing but i don't really want to so i'm not going to i want to but i'm not going to makes sense right if not well you're uh, out of luck then because i'm going to do it like this uh yeah i think we should have it like this or do we want to have it the other way we're going to have it like that it's placed so we can't do anything about that or we can of course but we're not going to as such uh, we need an atc tower it's small and we can't be placed anywhere uh, so for now it will just be placed really in the middle or uh, directly at the this thing is here what we also need is to have some contractors so let's get that in and to get that we need to sign a contract and that is actually a button here now so that's pretty nice and this also looks a little bit overhauled already actually so some small things they've changed before or between the last alpha and uh, this beta uh, already looks good changes maybe not the most pretty and uh, polished changes but i guess they will come throughout the beta and for the well, final release uh, a year or two <laughs> from today, I guess. So either we can have H 
double we double double yeah double we why and uh 63 contractors 8.6 per contractor that's not great uh, this is much better so we'll take the brickly contract here and we'll get back to your staff there now not really operations and construction and don't want to deploy max uh, let's deploy five and see if that is enough uh, they will have things to do for sure but uh, we just want to get the minimum spend in here i would say uh, to get things going uh, i really don't want to be so short on cash that we've been in previous series um actually i think the game is pretty hard that way but also pretty easy in uh, get, gaining income but it's not in like in transport fever that i can let the game run for just a few minutes after i've recorded and then i get enough cash to do something here usually when i've been playing before it actually takes hours of the, letting the game just run uh, to get to a good level of income so that might be something to look for here and i, I almost guarantee that is something that they are looking into here in uh, the beta stages of uh, this game so the tower and the runway and uh, that is the base then we need to have some runway exits uh, runway ramps they shouldn't maybe have gone with asphalt directly but um, hmm, that is what we chose so let's uh, have this done so let's just have on the top there uh, it's a small one so we shouldn't really have any problems or with these ramps i don't think we need them so that's that don't really want to go from asphalt to grass here uh, in terms of uh, um, taxway and things like that so i guess we're going to need to go with the uh, asphalt taxway as well uh, at least i've left space now here to taxi down below which i think is going to be good uh, that is something that we could do if we want to do and uh, yeah, I think, well, it's still going to be a tight fit, but uh, doesn't really matter. But we do need more, or we need some taxiway foundation. And this is how wide, it's five wide, I believe, yeah. Uh, so we'll do something five by five, and that's cost 100K. Right. Uh, Taxiway path. All right, we can't place it until it's built. I should know that, or I do know that. <laughs> I played the game before, so I know that, but uh, forgot or something. And we could just bang in a lot of stands. I'm just thinking about how I want to do things. So they're coming in here. I, I think just for the sake of it and doing something different, I think we'll go with remote stands to start with here in uh, in this series or the, in uh, this game. Well, in this season. And I think I won't have like remote stands up here and then general aviation here and the terminal somewhere along here uh, eventually we'll, we'll for sure have the terminal entry here or something like that at least until they get bigger maps and that is actually something that i'm really looking forward to, that they have sort of promised that they will look into adding a bigger maps because uh, well i really think we need bigger maps but uh, more taxway foundation Let's do five by five all the way here. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm, I'm burning out of cash already. So don't look at me if you want to know how to play the game because I'm playing it 
idiotically uh, especially as I place the tax way too high up since I can't have uh, gates as I want to have gates no worry though we'll be able to handle that I think we can do like that I also think this is not really a good idea to do that It's going to be a traffic jam that way. Have I, have I missought this? I think I have. Yeah, we need to have uh, like lanes down like this. Uh, this is going to be interesting though, because this gives us the chance to do something different. All right, so how wide are these? These are six wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's enough space. I don't know what the space is for, but it's enough space. And then we want one, two, three, four, five. Five in between. That's fine, right? Yeah. And then we'll have something like that. I, I'm already, I, I see and feel like I'm already building up something bigger than we need, so to say. Um, yeah, I, I, I really don't know what we're doing in this series. Uh, I could use a, a blue a blueprint, so to say, right now. But uh, oh hell, let's uh, let's just go crazy with it, I guess. The terminal is actually going to be here. As things are now, and we'll have a crazy amount of small planes, and all of them will be uh, remote stands. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. Crazy bananas. Uh, so, four, five, six. Just for reference. Now, should I place that like so or so? I think I should we'll place it like that. Two, three, four, five. Like that. All right. So, some more taxiway foundation. Everything there. Uh, now you guys are all coming along here. And it's sort of interesting and fun. We could add in bigger remote stands here later. Maybe. Maybe. And still have this. All right, so that is going on and we definitely need more contractors. So let's uh, deploy deploy them all, all here for a short while. Uh, at least uh, we are going to need some foundation towards this area. And we are going to need to have some really smart things uh, regarding buses and things. Oh boy. So definitely going to use as much as I can towards that. And as you see, this is un not en uh, enough funds, so we will do something smaller. Uh, we will work from the chaos that is this and let's do something like that. That is more than enough cost behind it. Yeah, something like that. And I think we'll have, we're going to need to have. 
tears out. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really going to find things out how things is working in this game, or or things are working in this game these days. Uh, from the start, it's been a fair while since I played this game from the start. All right. So they obviously need to stop somewhere as well. Uh, didn't really plan of them entering this way. Because uh, uh, I think they will enter this way. But I need them to stop somewhere. Uh, I guess we're just going to build a fair bit of a walkway then as well. Or sidewalk. Um, because the road is going to go that way. It's just the way it's got to be. And it's going to be coming up like that, but one tile down. Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, we're going to have bus stops. Uh, and everything is going to be like this, or is it? Bus says are going to be our main way of getting passengers into the airport, I believe. Uh, bus stop, bus shelters, the yeah. car stop. Do we really want car stops on that side? I don't know. No, we want taxi stops on uh, that side. Uh, we'll just work out the spaces in between her uh, later and somehow. We'll have a couple of car stops here, just that many. Uh, we'll add in the sidewalk that we need. So it's going to be like that and all the way through here and they need to pick the material and build for each and single time there and we're about to run out of cash now we're not really but we spent over two thirds of what we got from the start so that's worrying, to say the least. Uh, we'll just do that all the way here. And while I'm worrying about that, remember to smash that like button if you're in a join the show. Also, if you haven't done so yet, but want to follow along here on our beta let's play of airport CEO, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as you do, hit that uh, notification bell also if you want to be super duper sure of uh, not missing out on anything at all. So with that said, we need an entry here. A couple of doors would do good. So we'll have some sliding doors here. Hopefully, I think most things now shouldn't be that expensive. And I know this is not, it, it should be symmetrical, but it isn't. So it's just going to have it to be that way. Why can't we have any desks? Hmm. Now I'm worrying a bit as well here. So where is the tutorial? Next, yes. Airside construction, taxiway. Can I get the next one, please? Right, GA can bring me in some cash. Right. 
right, let's uh, let's triple the speed here for a one so we can get things going here for GA and figure out why the hell I can't build anything here. How am I going to be able to do that? Oh, do I need office desks before I can get anything at all? In an office. I might need that. That's pretty crazy if that's the case. And if that is the case, let's uh, let's work with that then. Staff room. Uh, all right. So let's have it like that then, I guess. Uh, office desk. Uh, since the airport is not open, you will uh, just work right there. Um, let's see here. We need uh, a couple of administrators, if that's the case. Uh, let's slow the game down a little bit and uh, have a look here for administrators. Oh, you're costly. I can't have anyone costly at the moment, so we'll take you. That is the worst skill possible, uh, but we'll figure it out. Uh, operations R&D, yes. Commercial license, yes. Uh, start project, I need to. So let's uh, find one more to hire. Uh, operations R&D, maximum two. So that should get started. No admins at the airport. Uh, there is an admin or two admins at the airport even. Right, uh, we'll, we'll just see uh, how that works out when it's get, it gets done. Hopefully not too soon as the same thing uh, goes to say for our quite extensive uh, runway and uh, and a uh, stand setup that we already built and uh, our big uh, um, uh, sort of big uh, airline foundation terminal terminal is the word I'm looking for already as well uh, as we're burning out of cash uh, we are about to be able to add in some taxiway from there no taxi path taxiway path uh, so we'll get the dose in. So connect all of you guys. So uh, we sort of want to skip GA really, but uh, if that is what's needed, um, Probably not. As we get the administrators in, hopefully we'll be able to unlock uh, com the commercial license fairly directly so we can work with that only because I think that is what is going to bring cash into the game or into our play here. Uh, the only thing that will do so. And uh, yeah, this might be tricky getting around there as well. Or it might not. Well, depends. Well, it's not. We'll just have to work around it, so to say. Uh, we will have a very interesting taxiway pass here, possibly. Uh, but uh, all for an interesting game, I guess. So let's um, actually. You no, know, something happened now. No, yes, yes. We got things underway here. Project completed. No stuff there. We now can assign desks and or rather create desks and things and security and this is what we need. Uh, so check in and desks variation small yeah. Uh, we are going to have these ones 
pretty much directly. We're not expecting any queues anywhere. Uh, so you'll come in to this terminal and you'll be greeted directly by these check-in desks. Oh, these are sort of costly, but uh, we'll do something like that. Eight, should that be? No, we'll go even bigger. We'll go 12 uh, check-in desks and then we'll do I will do security, security checkpoints, passport checkpoint. Yeah, we'll be not doing any passport checkpoints at uh, this stage. Small security checkpoints, uh, secure zone. Yes, everything, let's say, behind that is going to be secure for now. Uh, security checkpoints. Of course, these are three wide and not fitting here, which is frustrating since we have four blocks here everywhere. But uh, let's. Oh, these are even more expensive. So, something like this. And for the Secure exits, we'll plan them in later as we're doing, as I said, remote stands. And I think you can separate where the bus departs and where it arrives now. So I'm thinking that it will arrive somewhere along the lines of here. And then we'll have secure exits from there. And this whole area will be secure. And we'll have sort of a departure area and an arrival area. Uh, so for now, as I said, we'll leave this sort of blank. And there are sort of running all over the place. And now towards that, yet yeah, that is good. Uh, we need to probably do more administration or R&D to get things going uh, or get what we want going. So let's actually slow the game down and check that out. Floor construction, no, but remote stands, yes. Uh, minimum two, ETA, 12 hours. All right, so we'll uh, actually end the episode here and I will check back with the next episode as we have unlocked the, the R&D for the remote stance and we'll see if I can manage to complete this uh, first iteration of my grand uh, illusion so to say of uh, this airport and uh, we'll see if I, as I said, if I can manage to do it. I hope that I am and I hope to see you here next time as well. With that said, bye bye. You have been watching Rosco Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.